Welcome to another Demarcation Media action figure review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the UNSC Checkpoint. This is one of the Jazzwares like World of Halo 3 inch uh, scale things. And so far from these little 3 inch guys, I've only gotten one Master Chief. I reviewed him a while back. And unfortunately, he actually uh, broke recently. His foot broke off. Um, so that was, that's a little discouraging and makes me wonder if that's going to happen with this guy here. But that's kind of off topic. Anyway, I saw this little, I guess you could call it a set. Uh, like the pictures of it a couple months back. And this instantly caught my attention because of how many accessories there are. Particularly the fact that there's crates and a weapons rack as far as i know none of the other like previous halo figure lines i don't even think jazzware i mean not jazzwares um mcfarlane as extensive as their halo figure collection was they didn't ever really give accessories and if you're someone like me who likes taking photos of your your figures just having figures can get a little old because it's nice to have some background stuff so these excite me a lot actually this this whole set reminds me of something that like mega constructs would do just on a slightly larger scale so front of the box uh it's unsc checkpoint with spartan spartan gun gear wow um yeah, that's not how you spell it. They're missing an N right here. That's weird. You'd think that a big company like that would not misspell stuff on their box, but okay. Infinite branding around the side, UNSC logo. Uh, the back uh, of all of the Jazzwares figure boxes that I've gotten so far, they always seem way too plain, like they need something else. But they show off some of the other figures. That is a very bright EOD. We have a Cavalino Spartan with a very interesting color scheme. Hyperius. This two-pack right here interests me a little bit. If I find it, I might grab it and review it. Um, yeah, pretty simple box. Let's go ahead and get it open. Okay, so... How are we supposed to open this up? Oh, from the top. There we go. Fold it open. Wow. I have not really ever gotten an action figure set like this. Uh, excuse me? How am I supposed to get it out? There's all this stuff tack to the back here and there's the drop wall and all of that how am i supposed to get this out oh wait does this okay i see i see there we go so you have to pull out the orange backing as well so we've got all of this stuff and then the drop wall shield and then all of these base plates so let's go ahead and open this up <clears throat> the drop wall was really surprising to me like, I knew it was going to come in the the set, but when I first saw it, I was just kind of shocked at how much, like, stuff it came with. So it's a little bit on the bendy side. Got some nice texture, and then we've got the, uh, whatever you call it, the projector. It kind of just sits on there, so, like that. Uh, now let's just get all these base plates. I can't say these base plates look real useful for photography, but I don't know, they're kind of cool. But yeah, there's a lot of them. There's, there should be 10 here. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we got 10. Okay, so we've got those out. We have our drop wall out. And now, um... It's kind of filling up my studio a lot, but let's see if we can get a good shot of this. Yep, 
yeah, this this whole set really gives me Mega Constructs vibes, which is why I really wanted to take a look at it. Even if it does have a Spartan gun gear instead of gun gunner. Okay, th there's another piece of tape. It's like breaking into Fort Knox. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at these crates. Oh, yes. One of my favorite things to do in my Mega Constructs photos is just get a couple crates and just toss them in the background, either stacked up or uh, just kind of thrown around haphazardly just to make the scene feel a little bit more built up. Wow, this feels really solid. Wow, I'm kind of surprised. I expected this to be light and like hollow feeling, but no, it's got some weight to it. You're not going to knock this over by just blowing on it. We got all of our weapons, which they are the typical Jazzwares uh, rubbery weapons. Like this, look at this. That is just sad. Come on, Jazzwares. You can do better than this. Just make your plastic a little bit harder. It's kind of bending back. I'm going to have to probably soften up most of these weapons after the review just to bend these back into place, but we'll leave it for now. Chain gun with a bent barrel. Of course it's bent, but this looks pretty cool. Um, I, Let me look at this for closer real, real quick. It doesn't look like the shield is removable. It looks like the shield is just on. Which is a little disappointing. Just because I would have liked to have, have the option to remove the shield, but not bad. Uh, it's very bent, though. Fusion coil. Another fusion coil. Very nice. A rocket launcher that looks like somebody sat on it. Okay. A sniper rifle that is so bent out of shape. It's not even funny. What even are these supposed to be straight? They're just straight little sticks. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't really know how those are supposed to be. Um, we have a needler that is also really warped. Good grief. <sighs> They've got to be able to do better. An elite, wow, he has a loose torso. Wow, that's really, really loose. Okay. Well, that's not a, the greatest start. Uh, and then here's our Spartan, who is a Gungnir and not a gun gear. All right, well, let's get a closer look. And, oh no, is he going to have, he is, oh God. For real. So I was going to look at the Gungnir first, but yeah, I took him out of the package. His head would only move side to side, and I was like, you know, there's got to be some up and down. So I went to pop it off, and it just ripped right off, barely any pulling. So that's broken, and also the ankles are fused in this useless pointed downward position. So this guy is pretty much just garbage now. Um, I don't know if uh, I don't know if Jazzwares has any sort of customer service like Mega does. Um, I guess I'll have to look on their website. If not, then I'll have to return the whole set to Walmart. Which is unfortunate because this was the last one. Um, I was really looking forward to this guy actually because the sculpt is really nice. He's got a nice color scheme. Um, articulation is pretty decent, you know, for such a small figure. And I was actually planning on painting him, doing some like orange highlights on here. Uh, yeah. And this guy is exclusive to this two pack so far. Um, so yeah, that's really, really disappointing. And that's the second three inch Jazzwares figure I've had break. Um, 
yeah, I can't say it's making me want to buy the line more since both of my Spartans have broken so far. This guy literally broke right out of the package. So that's super disappointing. Although, you know, also this might be supposed to be a female. That waist looks a little narrow, but it's hard to tell. But yeah, that's pretty disappointing. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this other than I had high hopes for this one, and it absolutely did not deliver at all. Here is the second figure, the Elite. And for some reason, my camera is having a hard time actually, like, picking up the purple. Um, this guy looks pretty cool. He looks pretty accurate. He looks very similar to... Actually, let me grab him. Very similar to this dude right here. Um... The articulation is pretty similar to Mega's, actually, and it's pretty similar to the other Spartans as well, uh, the other Jazzwear Spartans. Single-jointed elbow, which is actually even more limited here just because of the way the Elite's undersuit is. We have the hand that has a swivel kind of hinge at the wrist, and then it can rotate with the piece of armor on it, which looks pretty cool. The head can go down pretty far, it can go up, but there's really no side to side. You kind of have to rotate it like that, which looks a little weird. So like if you want him really looking to the side, you've got to kind of do that. That just looks like his neck is broken. So that's a little weird that we don't get side to side, but it's workable. His waist has this like swivel ball joint thing, and he's basically a bobblehead. Like that's so loose. So, so loose. My chief had a loose uh waist but this is ridiculous this is i'm gonna have to do something about that if i can his arms can go out uh about that far about that far so he can't really t-pose that well i guess i don't know i guess that's good enough he has a little bit of print on the chest he has a needler which fits in his hand and it's all bent out of shape swivel at the elbow a joint here, a swivel here, then he has a joint here, a swivel there, and a joint down here, and also a swivel. So you can kind of like really break his legs. Um, and then he's got a swivel here, and it's also supposed to be a hinge to move the foot back and forth, like forward and backward, and that is completely fused. I can't get it to move at all, and I feel like if I keep doing, like trying to make it work, it's going to break, just like the Spartan. Uh, that's actually how my chief broke the peg in his ankle snapped because the, the joints were so stiff. Uh, a couple of his other joints are really loose and some of them are really stiff. So he looks pretty cool and his posing seems pretty nice if the joints were to work properly, but especially because the ankles don't hinge like they're supposed to, it makes him very hard to balance because I don't have any like little adjustments at the ankles. So he's a bit hard to pose because he's just so top heavy and kind of awkward. Yeah, he just wants to keep falling over. So, I mean, he's all right. He looks good, but he's just really hard to pose and the joints don't really work uh, how they should. So here are the crates and the drop wall. We saw the drop wall before. It can kind of come off. It's this kind of translucent, not really totally see-through yellow. And it's got this nice grid texture on it, just like in the game. The back is kind of smooth and shiny. And then our little like deployment piece, whatever it is. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's no paint on it. It just kind of is there. It, it's just to hold this up pretty much. Hold it up and add that extra bit of detail. Which is not bad. I think it works perfectly fine. It scales well to the figures. It almost looks like a uh, one of those shower things. The like sliding glass doors on a shower. But yeah, it's. I think this is pretty cool. I really like the inclusion of this. I think this was a great idea. And that's what it would kind of look like if a Spartan was behind it. His head would poke up a little bit more. But yeah, that's a that's a great piece. Really simple. Works well. Our crates. Uh, the hinge here. 
like the lock is just a hinged like bent plastic it's the same on both sides which means after a while that probably will wear out there's really nothing to nothing to keep that from breaking eventually so that's a bit of a bummer that they didn't go the extra mile and make that a real hinge but you don't really unless you want this for um actual storage of weapons which you can use this for you don't really have to keep opening it like for me if i actually end up being able to keep this whole set and get the spartan fixed or whatever uh it'll just be for background stuff so that's not as big a deal i would have liked to have the handles come out because it would be kind of cool to have spartans carrying it but we got a little unsc here and that's pretty much it both of these just say unsc on the top and then they're just plain they can stack like that and overall i would really love to see more action figure lines give accessories like that then we have the weapons rack which again i i was not expecting it to be this heavy it is it is a solid piece of plastic it's got the all the weapons in there UNSC symbol on both sides. It looks like something you might find in a Ford operating base. And again, this is just really good. This is the kind of thing I would love to see more action figure companies uh, do. Like Mega, Mega does stuff like this fairly often. And it's great. Like it's awesome to be able to just put these little scene builders in. Come on. Okay, so now we got all of our weapons out. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me zoom in a little bit. So you can see right here in these little like vent looking slots, there's kind of peg hole sections. You just stick the peg here into one of those. And it sticks, which is it's nice that there's a whole bunch of them because you can kind of move the gun around, change up how it's positioned in the rack. Uh, getting them out is a bit of a pain though so we have a little tiny bulldog looks actually very nice i like the way this looks a lot it's kind of chubby looking the paint is pretty nice and overall it just looks really well done it's just bent as usual like all of these weapons just come bent which is disappointing uh although whoa I, uh, I will correct myself now. The Hydra is as straight as you could ask for. Well, maybe it's a tiny bit bent, but that's really, really straight. See, this is how I want all the weapons to come out of the box. I don't want to have to fix this every time I get one of these sets. So we've got the Hydra. It is a little lacking in terms of paint. It's pretty simple, just the grip and all of the stock and stuff uh, in the gray color, but... It's not bad, and I like the shape. I wasn't so sure about it at first, like when Infinite's Hydra was first revealed, because I liked like the uh, Halo 5. Was it Halo? It, it had to be Halo 5. I don't think Halo 4 had a Hydra. I liked that design a lot, but this one, it's grown on me. I like how chunky it is. So that's a really nice weapon to have. We have another AR, which looks like Atriox stepped on it. Good grief, that's so bad. The paint's nice. It's got the little stripe and all the black. But wow, that is really bent. Really, really bent. And I mean, if you're not familiar with how soft these weapons are, look at this. They're basically rubber, which I don't think is a good idea. They need to make them to be hard plastic. We have the Commando painted up really nice. This is kind of the classic skin that we see uh like all the art we see of chief holding commando it would have this skin it looks nice and it's also bent as usual and then wow okay and the br is pretty straight just like the hydra i don't know how these two got through all straight but well no actually it's a tiny bit bent but that's way more acceptable um i don't know maybe it's just me but the stock either seems too long or the barrel seems too short. I'm not sure which it is. It's a nice weapon. 
It's painted up nicely, but it looks, the proportions look slightly off, and I'm not sure why. But that's a, a nice lineup of weapons. Uh, they just need to be straightened up. And I just really wish they would stop using this rubber. This is not good. So we have a handful more weapons. As you saw coming out of the box, we have these two fusion coils, two different kinds. I don't exactly know the difference, like why they look different, but I know that you can find both in the game and you can pick up both and just yeet them at your enemies and they explode, which is pretty cool. And I saw in another review, uh, a review by Nostalgic Adam, that you can hold these somehow how do how do we hold them oh well i guess that kind of works you can kind of hang it from his fingers by the top part and then this one i think you just grab it like right here so you could have your spartan theoretically getting ready to yeet that said that guy is dead he is completely dead he has been beheaded uh the spartan killers got to him he's gone so these are nice I think they could use maybe a wash, but that could easily be done yourself. Rocket launcher, it looks good. It fits in the figure's hand pretty nicely. Uh, it's a little finicky to actually get his hand on there, but once he's holding it, it looks nice. It just looks kind of like a boat because of how curved the barrel is, which again, I think it could be fixed. Just heat it up with a hairdryer and bend it back into place and let it cool. Um... But still, that should not be something that has to be done every single time you buy one of these sets. Uh, we've got a sniper rifle, which is huge. It is absolutely huge. It is the size of the Spartan. Uh, I've seen the other, like the, this is a new version. Apparently the first one was a lot smaller. The small one looked better, in my opinion. This is just so big. It's so big. It's, it's too big. The stand, I'm not really sure what's going on with the stand. Is it supposed to be curved outward? Did they get bent shut? You can move it. You can go like that, or you can go like that. But it's, I don't really know what's how it's supposed to work. Uh, there's a handle. I guess you could carry it like that, too. There's a little blue screen on there. Uh, the scope has some blue on it. Uh... I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite weapon of this whole set. It's just so big, which means there's so much more to get bent. And it's just so oversized. This, on the other hand, looks fantastic. It just is really, really bent. Again, I know I've said it a lot, but this is a real problem with these. Like, really, all of these weapons have been so malformed, it's not even funny. Like, look at the stand. This foot doesn't even rest on the ground properly because of how bent the leg is. So that's a bummer. But I really do like this piece, especially removing it. It's, out of all the weapons so far, it's one of the better ones. The barrel would just have to be straightened up a little bit. Um, since it's removable, we've got handles here. And there is, whoops, there is a handle here. So you could have your Spartan grab it like that. And, uh, hmm, how, how am I going to do this? I want him to hold it, George style. Well, kind of, I guess, sort of. It's a little hard to tell, like, how good the pose is. Because there's no head but i mean it's workable because of how limited the articulation is in the arms it gets a little awkward uh i think it could have been remedied a lot better if they had given them a forward tilting hand instead of a side to side but so that's pretty cool having a spartan walk around and just mow everything down with this gun is is pretty neat so that's cool could use a wash but again that's easy to do the stand is there. You can peg it on. There's kind of this tab here. I'm not sure. I think that's supposed to show what the front is. So you can do it like that. And then you can kind of rotate it from side to side. So if this was straightened up, this would be a fantastic weapon. 
and possibly my favorite from this whole set so far. And last, we have all of these display stands. So when you buy a single one of these three inch figures, you get one of these stands with it. And then you can attach them together. They're kind of like puzzle pieces. So it just slides together like that. And you get some green ones, some tan ones with green on it, and then some kind of more gray, rocky ones. This is cool. I think if you're getting these to like set up little scenes on your dresser or on your desk or whatever, this would be super helpful because look at that. You just made a whole like diorama set up right there. And since the Elite is so hard to get upright, having him on here is quite helpful. Obviously, you're going to need a lot of these if you want a decent-sized battleground. But, I mean, 10 is not bad. And if you buy a bunch of the single-figure packs and then one of these and a couple of the other double-figure packs, you probably have enough for a, a nice little battle. So, that's cool. It's not overly useful for me as a photographer, just because these things don't look um, as good as just the normal ground, because I can just take these figures outside and photograph them on the ground. But still, I think it is a, a nice inclusion. I, I think that was a good choice on Jazzware's part. Well, there you have it. That is the World of Halo UNSC Checkpoint. I really, really, really wanted to be able to end this review on a positive note. I know these figures aren't the most high quality figures out there. I know that they are made to be cheap and made for people to be able to buy them easily for kids to play with them. But that is just not cool. Okay. The head broke, the ankles are fused. That's just not remotely excusable. It's just bad. That is just bad. And it really, really makes me want to not buy any more of these Jazzwares figures because it is a recurring problem. My chief had the same ankle issue and that resulted in his ankle breaking. This guy has the same problem. I literally cannot move the ankles at all. And I mean, what are you going to do with a figure without a head? Like that's not good. Um, the neck joint feels fused just like the ankles is probably why the head broke because he's supposed to be able to look down probably about that far and then upward pretty much not at all but he's supposed to be able to look down and he could not look down at all he could go side to side that was it uh, and yeah then that was that was broken the elite has some really loose joints and I feel like the ankles have a chance of breaking um, the tabs here feel really cheap, and obviously, as I've mentioned many times, all of the weapons are very bent. So, if all of this, like if you just take away those issues, let's pretend those issues don't exist for a minute. It's $25 to get this, and that is a really good price for what's in here. You have, it's a whole scene here. You basically have all you need for a Ford operating base right here in this set um but then when you throw in all of those issues that's 25 dollars for a figure who for me a figure who broke right away a figure who has issues and looks to break at some point fairly soon and then a bunch of weapons that are really bent i do like the weapons rack this feels really solid the plastic, obviously, it's not the highest quality, but it feels like it would last me a while. The crates, if I were careful, I think they could last a while. And even if the tabs broke, I could glue the tops on and it would be still great. But the figures, that's just not good. And like I said, I had high hopes for this. I've seen other reviews. People really loved it. I really, really, really wanted to be able to give this a good, like end this video on a good note, but I just can't. So I'm going to have to go and look to see if Jazzwares has any sort of customer support. If they don't, then I'm going to have to pack this whole set up and return it to Walmart. And that'll be that. So 
that's that's a bummer. That's a really big bummer. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.